Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode. Now, we've messed around a lot with the various bots in the game. We've captured little greenies, we've captured the hay bots, we've befriended and kept a hay bot as a pet who now occasionally brings back some milk for us. We've even captured bosses and we've protected ourselves against bosses and invincible boxes. We've pretty much done a good job of trolling every single enemy in the game, except for tape bots. And I think the big reason for that is tape bots are just deadly accurate at range and they kill you in two hits. So I just try to avoid them when possible and only interact with them when I absolutely have to. So I think that might be one of the reasons why we haven't messed with them. But today's the day that we're gonna mess with some tape bots. I'm gonna try to actually capture a tape bot just to see what happens. By the way, thank you cows for your precious milk. Hank hasn't been coming through lately. I won't tell him though, I won't tell him. This is gonna be another experimental style episode and I'm gonna build myself a tape bot capturing device. And this is where things get a little bit interesting because the tape bots, they behave differently with their weaponry than other bots do. Cause normally I'd create a cage that actually has like bars and most bots, all I have to do is keep my distance from the cage and they can't do anything to me when they're trapped in the cage. But the tape bots are a different story. If they can shoot through the bars, they can shoot me pretty much anytime I approach. So what I've done is I've built a lot of tier three metal because I know that's gonna be able to resist a lot of their advances or a lot of their attacks rather. But I've also built for the first time ever, I have built myself some armored glass. Now I am a little bit concerned because the durability on the armored glass is only four, which isn't a lot. So I thought I was gonna build an armored glass cage or room basically for them. But with a four durability, I think they can still shoot through it. So I think I'm gonna build it mostly out of tier three metal and then have windows using armored glass. Let's actually see how does armored glass even look in this game? All right, it's not the most transparent material, but it's more transparent than most other things. So I'm hoping I'll, I can build a cage that'll be able to uh, still see the tape bots in there so we can watch what they're doing in there. And I'm hoping that when they're completely enclosed that they won't be able to detect me as a threat and maybe they'll just calm down and not shoot the cage. So I'm just gonna build right here. I think I have all the materials on me. I have a level five piston. I have a bunch of tier three metal and I got some armored glass. So the plan is to build a cube that could hold the tape bots that has a door that I can open at will and then close a tape bot in. I should probably, I'm gonna need some wheels too, but let's just start building the cage first. So the floor obviously is gonna be completely metal and I don't want this thing to be too big because I have to carry this. So then what I can use the piston for is to essentially lift a door up in the front. And is this even? Oh, it is even. Let me add just a little bit of width to it. There we go. Now, we ha now we're going to have a nice centered door. All right. So if I do this right, the piston should go there. And then we can build the door out to the walls like this. And that should, if I hook that up to a button, I'll put the button in the back so that the tape bots won't have access to it and be able to shoot the button and damage it. So now I should be able to press the button and the door goes up, but I gotta adjust the setting here. So we're gonna do fast range. What range do we even need? I feel like that's good enough. We don't want it to be higher than it needs to be. Yeah, and the button comes down and I'll have this hooked up to my vehicle so that I can actually do it for my vehicle. The problem is I need to actually make this thing mobile so I can transport it on my vehicle, kind of like a trailer. Man, it's gonna be hard. This is gonna be really difficult. You know why? Other bots, because they're melee based, we could actually lead them into it. This was easier with other bots because they were melee based. So we could actually lead them into the cage, but this time is different because they're ranged. So we actually have to bring the cage to them but I don't know. I think we're just going to push them. I don't know if they're going to be able to step up on this if this has ground clearance. I'm going to have some experimentation to do. Right, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to get myself some wheels. Oh, wait a minute. I have spare wheels on this. I only needed two. I'm just going to use my spare wheels. Yeah, I came prepared. I meant to do that. And I got bearings and everything. This is no problem. This is fine. I'll put wheels on this side in hopes that this, can, this side can drag along the ground a little bit. Yeah, like that. So then... I'm hoping that this can drag on the ground, but I really need it to... I don't know how I'm going to attach this now. All right, let's see how this works. I'm going to weld, I think, here to there. There we go. And then when we drop it off the lift, it is able to go down. But now, can I actually drive with this? I can drive forward, no problem. Go up backwards. Okay, good. 
Oh, that's not the right button. I just wasted a bunch of ammo. I forgot that I have my spuddling gun hooked up. All right, so now this hooks up to the seat. And then that's number four. Opens that up. All right, so now let's make some windows so we can actually see the tape bot in here and hope that he's not going to be able to shoot. All right, so there's a window. All right, we're going to do a big window there. And I'm going to do small slits of windows on the side that we can peer in through. I hope I'm not going to regret this. I think they're going to shoot through there and then they're just going to shoot me. But then again, I have seen in the warehouses at least, it doesn't appear that they can see through glass. Maybe they have thermal vision. I don't think thermal vision works through glass. Because yeah, I've totally seen them on the other sides of windows and they had no reaction to me. So this could be effective. They might not be able to see me through these. All right, this is good. This is progress. All right, you know what? Let's do a quick test. Let's see if we can... Oh, this thing's actually kind of terrible to drive. But let's see if we can capture a greenie. Oh, that's the wrong button. I gotta start pressing that button. That's a terrible button. All right, can you walk up into here? Can you... Oh, this is gonna be so... Well, they'll stay still, right? I'm assuming that they're gonna stay still. Go... No, go into the thing. Stop avoiding it. Stop avoiding the cage that is your demise. Why would you do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's so terrible. All right, come on. Just come in. Oh, my God. No, don't hit it. If you actually destroy part of this, I'm going to be so mad. Yes. No. Is that what's going to happen? Get in. Get no, wrong button again. Okay, this isn't working, guys. This I'm hoping that the tape bots, they'll be, they'll be on their feet. They'll have more of a... They'll, they'll have a higher ground clearance. <laughs> Can you talk about ground clearance when it comes to bipedal things? Do we have ground clearance? What's a ground clearance of a human? How much ground clearance do we have? All right, I need to go to a warehouse. All right, oh, there's a tape on right there. Okay, all right, we're already here. I wonder if he'll start shooting at me as I approach him. Because if I'm hidden behind my own cage, even though I'm in a moving vehicle, you think he'll still know it's me? How stupid are tape bots is the question at hand right now. All right, it is dark, but he's kind of near a light. Let's just, I'm gonna open up the cage. Let's just try this. I hope there's not another tape bot around. Oh, he's shooting at me. Uh oh, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Get in there. Oh no, this isn't gonna work. Oh, get in there, come on. Come on, just get in. Is there? All right, I, I gotta let him get up. Get in. What if I just close it? No! I hope I don't get ambushed by another tape bot. I'm just gonna push him up against the wall. Oh, we're getting shot at- Oh! No! Go! Please go! See, this is why. This is why I avoided the tape bots. This is exactly the reason why. All right, we're back. So my plan of picking up the tape bots by backing into them with this is apparently not effective. So instead, what do I do instead? All right, so here's what I need to do. I need to build this in a way that the door is going to pull the tape bot in. And I think I can use the materials I have on hand. I'm act I have two bearings on me. I think that's exactly what I need. I hope this works. If this doesn't work, this is very annoying. It is engineering time. All right, so I'm gonna put a bearing here. We're gonna put a piston on a bearing like that. And then the door is essentially going to come out from here. All right, how do I do that? I need that to connect like up here. So this is door. Does that, I think that's it. I think that's all I gotta do. I weld that and now button gets hooked up to this. This gets put on like, I don't know, five. Let's do it slow for now. Take it off the lift, see if I did it. Did I solve it? Okay, now we just adjust this. What? Is it not strong enough? It's a level five piston. Maybe if I go faster. Okay, let's just go fast. Um, oh, I need another bearing. I need one more bearing. One more bearing is all I need. There's a bearing here. Can I scavenge a bearing from somewhere? Um, all the way out here. Please give me a bearing. I don't have any bearing. This needs a bearing on it. That's all that needs to happen for this to work. All right, I'm just gonna hope for the most luck I've ever had in this game and find a, not only find a treasure chest right here, but also 
that there happens to be a bearing in it, which is not a very common uh, find. Two component kits. See, that would be luck if I was looking for component kits, but I'm not looking for component kits right now. I'm looking for a bearing, a singular bearing. Is there, is there a treasure chest? Is there no treasure chest here? Really, this big building and no actual treasure chest? I mean, that's kind of a treasure chest, but it's different, you know? There's one that, you know what I could, I'm gonna shoot it. Neither of those look like a bearing to me. Man, okay, you know what? I think for the sake of experimenting with this, I can steal this bearing. I think that still functions. Yeah, it still functions. It doesn't function 100%. But it still functions. It's good enough. It's just a little bit loose on that one side is all. It should be a tolerable enough adjustment though. So we should do that and then we do that. And is that already welded? All right, now let's see if it works. Okay, that's too much now. That's too much. What did I say, like six before? Oh, no. <laughs> let's put it back. All right, a little bit more. Uh, I think nine is good and maybe not so fast. How's this for speed? That's good. See, that should definitely, that should push him in and then we'll be good. So let me create my window again. All right, so now press number four, opens up. We go ahead and then we bring him on in. I think this is possible. All right, we got him right here again, right at the opening. Whoa, oh, okay, that's adjust. Oh, you don't move this up. The door is adjusting the weight of how this works, which actually makes this harder. All right, come on. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And number four. Oh. oh, he still shoots. I didn't want that. Okay, well hold on. Let's just let's just take him a little bit. He he fell down. <laughs> let's take him away. And let's observe now. He's not shooting no more. I think it's because I was in the seat. And moving, maybe. Oh, we have a captive tape box. It worked. All right, I'm just gonna put a hole. Okay, he can't see me. Well, he's facing the wrong way, so he wouldn't see me anyway. Like, I'm wondering if I, I probably need the glass. He can probably shoot me through here. But he's not trying to yet. Hello. Oh, now he sees me. Let's just uh, move over here. What if I shoot? No. Hmm. I'm just trying to see how they behave, you know? I never really got a close look at them. Oh, there we are. He sees me, but he didn't try to shoot. It's like he's trying to get access to me. Oh, this is interesting. I've never really gotten this close of a look at them. You can look at the teeth. The teeth look really cool. Like the teeth for cutting the tape, but then he also has, ah! He broke the glass. He can't break the glass. All right, let's just fill all this in. All right, well that answers that question. I'm glad it didn't kill me. Here, we need, we need some better health regeneration. Let's fill up our gauges here. All right, so just as I was hoping, once he's enclosed behind walls, he can't see me. He can definitely see me once I poke a hole in there and he can shoot me through there too. So that was concerning, but I survived fortunately. I really wish this glass was more transparent because it kind of really, it really obstructs the view a lot. Here, I want this to be more glass. I want to, I want to be able to see more here. So I'm going to take some risks. This is what I'm talking about. All right. So this is what the back looks like. It's interesting that they have pegs. You can see the suspension though, like the accordion style shins for suspension, I guess. Got a big old tape backpack. I don't actually see the tape isn't being fed in to his launcher. Oh, tape's being fed in the Well, that's interesting. This is like a little bit of a discrepancy. There's a different size tape on the back of his tape launcher than there is on his backpack. But I see no connection. Like, how does he reload? His entire head is made out of tape too. His circuitry, therefore, must be in his body because there's, there's not a lot of room in the head like the whole head is pretty much tape all right so now let's see if i get in my vehicle does he start shooting at me automatically he does that's so interesting there's definitely a clear di I, I never noticed that before but there's a clear difference in their ability to detect you depending on whether or not you're in a seat 
I really want to take him back home, but he's going to be shooting at... Well, he'll be, he'll be falling a lot. You know, let's just try it. Let's try to take this guy back home. I'm going to take you guys on the journey with me. And we'll see what happens with him. Hopefully, he doesn't break his way through. Because he might have a direct line of shot at my head from back there. This is going to be rough. Oh, no. I don't know if there's an easy way back home. There's a bunch of cliffs that I came up. Hopefully, I can find a way down. This might be difficult. I don't know if I can get back home. Wait, what? Guys, he's gone. The tape bot already left me. I thought... I thought we were better than this. Where did he go? Can we not take a tape bot home? I want to see this happen. I'm going to capture another one. I want to see that happen. All right, let's be really careful. Get my gun out. There's a tape bot. I don't want to be... I don't want to be double teamed by any tape bots. All right, that one's going to be a lot easier than this one. So let's just kill this guy. All right, here we go. Come on into your new home. There we are. All right, he's captured. Now let's see about bringing him back. This time, I'm gonna keep the camera on him at all times. We're gonna see the moment he disappears. What happens? Does he disappear? Did he fall out somehow? I don't know what actually happens. Maybe if he stays unconscious for a certain amount of time. Here, I'm gonna let him get back up. All right, now we'll go again. We'll do this the whole time. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. Maybe I could have got a bearing from that. All right, he's still in there. I know he's gonna- Ah! Oh, he disappeared! It is- Ah. It is a disappearing thing. Hmm. Now, I am curious if this is disappearing because I got too far from his spawn point, or if he's disappearing because he was unconscious for too long at a time. Oh! Oh, no! No, 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 no. No, move! I, I was pressing the move button and it didn't let me move! <laughs> uh, I think I had to repress it after I got conscious. I was holding it down the whole time. All right, we're back here. Oh, oh, this is bad. Nope, nope. <laughs> here we go, let's put that back up, all right? No, stop it. Just do the rolling thing. There we go. All right, oh no, he destroyed some of my glass. Are you, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! How did he snipe? Like that! He sniped literally through the glass, that same little hole, twice, and it hit me in the head. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Alright, it's happening. Whether you like it or not, Tape Bot, this is gonna be your life now. There we go, he is captured. Now let's watch carefully. I'm not gonna let him get up, and I'm just gonna drive around here and see if it's a proximity thing or if it's just an unconscious thing. If it's an unconscious thing, It'll take a long time, but we can bring him back if it's just the fact that he was unconscious for too long. Yeah, he's still- he's been conscious this whole time. It's definitely a proximity thing. Alright, think I can capture more than one? Probably not. I'm gonna try anyway. You wanna rescue your buddy? You wanna rescue him, hmm? Alright, open up. Yes! <laughs> They're both in here! Oh wait, did one of them die? <gasps> one of them died! Whoops! Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 don't. Fall back down. Fall back down, please. Thank you. All right, there's another one over here. All right. Uh oh! Oh, this is bad. Okay, there's that. They're breaking glass. I can hear it. Get in. Yes. They're both in. Come on, get unconscious. There we go. All right, now let's bring them out. And now, when they become conscious, because I'm not in a seat, they should be... Yes! Oh, can they not both be co Oh, no, there they go. There they go. We did it! We've got two captive tape bots. I don't think this cage can fit more than two tape bots, unfortunately. All right, let me make this bigger again. All right, there we go. Two captive tape bots right in front of your eyes. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The last of the bots to be trolled by Scrapman. The tape bot has finally been contained and captured. If you have any other ideas for stuff you want to see happen in survival mode, let me know down in the comments below, because at this point, I'm just messing around now. I'm, I'm waiting for chapter two to come out. When chapter two comes out, I'm going to be starting a new world, and we're going to be seeing what that has to offer in comparison with this run through. All right, quick reminder, if you were not already aware, it is the holiday season, and I did make a custom channel themed ugly Christmas sweater that is now on the store, as well as other fun stuff on the store if you haven't checked out the merch store at all. So go ahead and check that out with the link down in the description below. If you 
you haven't been following the survival series up to this point and you enjoyed this episode, definitely check out the survival series playlist right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.